the next thing is how can hackers attack oh there is no limit okay there are lots of ways in which hackers can attack these are what we call as the attack vector vectors okay so i'll just show you in the form of this diagram here so i can attack you by uh, using uh, say unpatched software okay so the software which is not licensed a software which is pirated or software which is there but it has not been patched regularly so this is one channel of attacking you the second channel of attacking is using targeted malware malware i already got uh, told you is uh, it could be in the form of uh, viruses or trojans or something so those can be used to attack uh, the target using social networking where you fool people into uh, you know giving you some attack vectors next is insider threats using something called as insider threats that means you could find somebody working in that company and you can extract information out of that particular person that is insider threats okay the next one is botnets botnets are you can say uh, certain softwares that are automatically generated these are robots on the network that is why they are using they are called botnets so robots the net work okay so i'll remove net or remove this is how the word botnet came into existence so botnet is basically a pre artificially created software and it runs on its own and uh, tries to penetrate the defenses okay next is lack of cyber security professional this is one of the main reasons in fact people are not aware of the ways they can be attacked people are not aware that they need uh, cyber security professionals like you and me and they just imagine that i will never get hacked and that is one of the main reasons of getting hacked okay then we have got network applications there are lots of network applications which are which are having their inherent vulnerabilities we can use them for attacks inadequate security policies is yet another reason for getting hacked uh, mobiles sometimes your mobiles are not secure enough that's how they can be hacked uh, government laws and regulations sometimes uh, cause security and sometimes they because of the government regulations there is uh, or, or rather due to the proper lack of government regulations you can get uh, into the security okay then we have complexity of the computer infrastructure computers and networks are very very complex and uh, since there are so many factors there there is always a chance that something might be people might forget some some aspect or the other and because of that there is high chance of getting penetrated okay something called as hacktivism i'll cover hacktivism in detail in the next few slides so these are hackers and activists uh, combination of that i'll talk about that in detail uh, we have got something like virtualization and cloud computing cloud computing is uh, storing the data online we do that all the time now and finally final organized cyber crime this is a group of hackers that come together and hack so these are the different methods by which uh, a system can be attacked or can okay. be hacked